Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain about uh, the, the leakage power consumption. Leakage power consumption. Okay. So here, uh, what is leakage power consumption means uh, if you consider uh, a PN junction diode, okay. If you consider a PN junction diode, when it is in reverse bias, what happens? Okay. So I will show the diagram here. If you consider a PN junction diode, it is connected like this. So here we have the depletion region and this one is the P and this one is the N. So if you apply the reverse bias condition here, so that is reverse bias means positive voltage uh, terminal is connected to the N and negative is connected to the P. So because of that, what happened? There will be an increasing in the depletion region. So it, because it is in the reverse bias, okay. But there will be a flow of current is there that is uh, reverse saturation current or we can also call as a, a leakage current. Okay, so here it is negative and it is positive. So the holes uh, in this one is the majority carriers are what elect, uh, holes and uh, the electrons are the minority carriers. Here because of this negative potential what happened? So these minority carriers uh, electrons will move from P type to N type uh, and here the uh, holes are the major minority carriers uh, due to this positive repulsive forces they will move towards the P and they will cross the junction and there will be a formation of uh, uh, the reverse saturation current so okay so whenever what is that means means your leakage uh, power consumption or uh, reverse saturation current means it will be obtained whenever the device is in off condition okay either it may be a pn junction or it may be a transistor so whenever the transistor or the pn junctions are in reverse bias condition or in the off condition there will be a uh, formation of a leakage current or a reverse saturation current Okay, similarly here we have in our CMOS VLS circuits or mass transistors, uh, we have the leakage current uh, or the reverse saturation current that will flows. So if you consider uh, a N mass transistor, if you consider an N mass transistor, it consists of, uh, if you consider an N mass transistor here, it consists of source and drain, and there will be a formation of depletion regions between this is the N substrate, okay? Uh, sorry, this is the P substrate, okay? So this one is the N type material and this one is also N type material. So both junctions will be formed, okay? So if you consider this one, whenever there will be a uh, reverse bias or uh, uh, off condition of this uh, mass fit, what happened here? There will be a reverse uh, saturation current will flow. So that current is called as what? Uh, leakage current, okay? And another, uh, uh, power consumption that will uh, add it to this uh, leakage power consumption or, uh, or we can also call as uh, reverse saturation uh, current is nothing but uh, sub-threshold current or sub-threshold power consumption. We'll see both uh, this uh, reverse saturation current uh, and, and at the same time the sub-threshold current, both will be included in this leakage power consumption, okay? So we'll see one by one that uh, those two, right? So in a CMOS VLSI chip uh, containing a very large number of transistors, those currents can contribute to the overall power dissipation even when the transistors are not undergoing any switching event. What is that means here? Here our VLSI, VLSI means uh, millions of transistors will be placed on uh, our uh, uh, silicon area or a chip, okay, silicon chip. Due to that, uh, all the transistors, large number of transistors, so those currents can contribute to the overall power dissipation because uh, even though they are uh, under non-switching, that is a switching event undergoing not, even though they are not undergoing any switching event, switching event means uh, uh, on and off condition, on to off and off to uh, on conditions, even though they are not going with that conditions. So there will be a power consumption, there will be a, uh, power consumption will take place uh, in each transistor. That power consumption also we will consider uh, to the total power consumption, okay? So here we have two main leakage current components uh, in our MOSFET. Uh, that is what reverse diode leakage occurs when a PN junction between the drain and bulk of the transistor is reverse bias. That's what I told uh, now uh, in the previous discussion that uh, uh, if, you, if you consider that uh, N mass transistor. In that N mass transistor, we'll have P sub uh, P substrate and N so uh, N type source and N type drain. Okay, so between this bulk are the substrate P substrate. 
on the n-type material, there will be a formation of uh, junction will take place. Those junctions, uh, whenever they are in reverse bias, automatically there will be a flow of current that will take place that is reverse saturation current. Uh, that current is called as what? Leakage current here. Similarly, there will be a formation of uh, a uh, junction between n well. If you consider the CMOS process, CMOS process can be or CMOS uh, inverter can be or CMOS circuits can be uh, fabricated by using what n well process or p well process or twinter process. Any of that, if you consider n well, n well is there. N well means there we have the p p type uh, or p MOSFET. We will uh, place that one in this n well. So I will show that one here. So if you consider this, uh, uh, if you want to go with the n -well process, so we'll consider here P substrate, P substrate or bulk, but here to form the P mass transistor, we will consider n -well. okay? So here it will, this n -well will act as a substrate here. So this is n -well and there will be, and this is the source and this one is the drain, okay? So this one is the source, and this one is the drain. Both are of what p-type materials. Between this p-type material and n well, there will be a formation of the junctions. So whenever these junctions are in reverse bias, or whenever this p-mass transistor is goes into the off condition, then there will be a reverse leakage current will flows. Okay. So because of uh, the junctions that are present between uh, the source and drain and the substrate, at the same time. The source and drain and the n well they will cause the leakage current for us okay whenever those junctions between this drain and uh, uh, drain and uh, substrate or we can also call it as source and n well process then there will be a reverse saturation current uh, will flows that causes the leakage power consumption for us okay so these two are the important uh, uh, leakage currents uh, what we have in a mass pit now we will consider an example of uh, an n mass inverter in a cmos uh, sorry in a cmos inverter uh, with a high input voltage the p mass transistor is turned off there will be a reverse potential difference uh, of vdd between its drain and the n well causing the diode leakage current what i have told here okay so next one is the n well region of the p mass transistor is also reverse bias with VDD with respect to the P substrate. Therefore, another significant leakage current component uh, exists because of the n -well junctions, okay? So if you consider this one is nothing but the CMOS inverter we have, okay? So CMOS inverter and that two n -well process. So n -well process means in this n -well we can form a PMOS transistor and in this uh, on this substrate, we can form an n -mass transistor. Whenever, if you consider an inverter circuit here, an inverter circuit uh, like this, uh, uh, P mass inverter, uh, sorry, C mass inverter. So this one is the N mass transistor. One second. So this one is N mass transistor, and this one is the P mass transistor, and this is VDD. Okay, and this one is uh, VSS, or we can also call it as ground. If you apply Vn is equal to zero, if you apply Vn is equal to zero, so what happened here? This transistor will be on condition, so this will be in off condition. So whenever this n mass is off condition, so there will be a reverse saturation current will flows in this uh, between this p substrate and the n junctions. Okay, so like that, whenever if I apply Vn is equal to one here, okay, what happened here? This one will be goes into the on condition. Uh, this one will goes into the on condition and this one will goes into the off condition if one whenever vn is equal to one okay so at that point uh, through this p mass transistor there will be a leakage current will flows okay so this is about how the uh, re reverse leakage current uh, will flows in c mass and at the same time uh, uh, in c mass uh, in water circuits or the c mass gates Okay, so that's what I have given in these two points. Like in a CMOS inverter with a high input voltage, the PMOS transistor is turned off. There will be a reverse portion, potential difference of VDD between its drain and the anvil, causing a diode leakage uh, through the drain junction. Okay, similarly, 
uh, if whenever a PMAS is on condition and NMAS is off condition, so there will also we will consider a leakage power consumption. Okay, so that is what here we have the reverse leakage current, right? So a similar situation can be observed when the input voltage is zero and the output voltage is charged up to VDD through the PMAS transistor, then the reverse potential difference between the NMAS drain region and the P-type substrate causes a reverse leakage current. Both ways, what I have explained by taking that diagram, Vn is equal to zero and Vn is equal to one, at the both conditions, at one time the PMAS will be on and at the one time uh, NMAS will be on. So whenever these two, uh, that is PMAS is off, there will be a power consumption takes place, that is leakage power or leakage current will flows. At the same time, whenever the NMAS is off condition also, there will be a leakage current will flows. Okay, so these two contributes the uh, leakage power consumption. Okay, and here we have the formula for the reverse leakage current of a PN junction expressed as I reverse is equal to A into JS uh, E power Q by V bias by KT minus one. Here A is nothing but the area of cross section and JS is nothing but uh, the current density and E power Q is the charge of the electron and biasing voltage is V bias and K and T, K is the Boltzmann's constant and T is the temperature, okay? So this is what reverse uh, saturation current or reverse leakage current that will provided by these PMAS and NMAS when they are in off condition, okay? Now we'll go with the sub-threshold current. What is this sub-threshold current? Generally what, uh, if you consider V in, okay? So if you consider V in or the gate to source voltage, so I will consider here, uh, the P mass transistor or uh, the diagram of uh, inverter circuit. So if you consider this, okay. This is uh, VDD and this one is nothing but uh, ground. So whenever if you apply Vn is equal to zero, okay. Vn is equal to zero means what? This N mass will be completely off condition, okay? And uh, this P mass will be on condition. Whenever Vn is equal to one, so what happened here? This one will be in goes into the off, condi on, off condition. This will be goes into the on condition. Then when we are getting this threshold voltage, uh, sub threshold uh, current component is nothing but uh, if, if you apply uh, a threshold voltage or the gate to source voltage, uh, that is greater than, that is what, if you consider for an NMAS transistor, if uh, uh, V in, or we can also consider as VGS, VGS is greater than V threshold voltage of NMAS transistor, VTM, okay? So what happened here, V in is in, or the gate to source voltage is greater than the threshold voltage of NMAS transistor, then the NMAS will be on. Okay, the N mass will be on, there will be a uh, inversion layer will form. That is inversion layer is nothing but the channel formation will take place whenever the input voltage is greater than the threshold voltage. But, uh, and the transistor we can consider the on condition. But whenever, if V in is nearer to this threshold voltage or V in is nearer to Vn is nearer to Vtn, Vn is close to the Vtn, then there will be a current flow will take place. Even though there will be a less amount of channel inversion takes place, not completely, okay? But the transistor partially conducts, okay? For this condition, if you consider Vn is equal to zero or negative value, so there is no problem because the NMAS transistor completely goes into the off condition. Okay, and at the same time, if Vn is greater than Vtn, so the NMAS transistor completely goes into the on condition. So there is no problem with those two points, uh, but the problem is whenever the input or the gate to source voltage is uh, approximately, or it is nearer to the threshold voltage of the transistor, then there will be a problem because uh, the transistor will conduct partially. There will be a small inversion layer will form between the source and drain due to that voltage. Okay, because of that, there will be a current flow. That current flow is called as what? Sub-threshold current. Okay, 
whenever the transistor is completely on and off there is no scope of uh, the sub, sub threshold current but uh, if the threshold voltage if the applied uh, voltage is nearer to the threshold voltage then there will be a problem that problem is called as what sub threshold current because the transistor will on partially and it will conduct okay so that's what the sub threshold current means Another component of leakage current in CMOS circuit is the sub-threshold current, which is due to the carrier diffusion between the source and drain regions of the transistor in a weak inversion layer. So when the when this weak inversion layer will form, whenever whenever that input voltage or the gate to source voltage is less than this threshold voltage or nearer to this threshold voltage, there will be a com not complete formation of this channel. So that is called as weak inversion, inversion layer formation. So because of that, the current will flows. Okay. The amount of sub-threshold current may become significant when the gate to source voltage is smaller than, but very close to the threshold voltage of the device. That's what I have explained. Okay. The sub-threshold leakage current can occur even when there is no switching uh, uh, activity in the circuit and that component must be carefully considered for estimating the total power dissipation in the standby operation mode. In the standby operation mode means when there is no switching operations is taking place. Also at that point, the subthreshold current will be closed. And the total subthreshold current ID subthreshold is equal to QDN WXC uh, N0 by LB E power QT by KT E power Q by KT uh, A VGS plus B VDS. This is the subthreshold current what we have that gives the uh, some part of the leakage current. Okay. Now we'll go with the next one. That is the total power consumption. Okay. So what is the total power consumption? I told uh, at the beginning that is in the overview of power consumption. The total power consumption is due to the dynamic power consumption or switching power consumption. And another one is short circuit power consumption, leakage power consumption. And the final one is the fourth one is what? The static power consumption. Okay, so to calculate the total power consumption in CMOS digital circuit, we have to add all these contributions of uh, all these four. Okay, that's why here I'm adding that uh, P total, uh, the total power consumption is equal to alpha T C load VDD square multiply with F clock plus VDD multiply with I short, cir short circuit current plus I leakage current plus I static current. Okay, I short circuit current plus I leakage current plus I static current. So these two are what we have discussed here. Okay, high short circuit denotes the average short circuit current. I leakage denotes the reverse leakage and top threshold leakage current combinedly. Because this reverse leakage power consumption is uh, contributed uh, or is uh, caused by two points. One is what the reverse leakage current, another one is sub threshold current. That's why I leakage is equal to addition of both uh, reverse leakage current and sub threshold leakage current. The final one is static current. Okay, what is the static current means here? The static current is nothing but uh, the power consumption that is taking place due to the other circuit circuits that are present on the chip except this CMOS digital circuits is called as what? The static power consumption. Okay, so here we have I static denotes the current components drawn from the power supply. Okay, so here out of this, the first term is nothing but what the dynamic or uh, switching power consumption. It is the major con major contribution to the total power consumption. And at the same time, if you observe here, I am multiplying the voltage with, uh, if you multiply voltage with uh, the current, uh, that will give us what? The power. Okay. So here VDE is the total voltage that is power supply. And it is multiplied with the uh, I short circuit, uh, I leakage, and uh, I static currents. Uh, so we will get here uh, the total power consumption taken place due to the short circuit current and due to the leakage current and due to the static power consumptions. Okay, uh, this is what uh, uh, remaining three. And at the same time, this one is the major contribution for this total power consumption. Okay, so this is about uh, the power consumption uh, that is taking place in CMOS digital circuits. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.